What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about the beta start times for everyone, including early access and the open beta. Now I will link this article down in the description below if you would like to read over these times for yourself. You can see them there. But this is a bit different than it was last weekend. Of course, tomorrow, September the 19th, will be the pre access kind of beta the early access so if you have the game pre-ordered on xbox one or pc you will be able to hop in and start playing tomorrow september the 19th at 10 a.m pacific time uh, so that will be 12 central one eastern in the u.s if you live like in europe i know you guys are like six hours ahead of or you know ahead of me time wise so that will be around 6 p.m for you guys there also tomorrow ps4 will be able to play the beta starting at the same time 10 a.m pacific time uh, PS4, you do not have to have any kind of early access. This will just be an open beta to PS4, so anyone on PS4 can start playing tomorrow. But for Xbox, like I said, Xbox and PC, only the pre-order early access will be available tomorrow. Now, they did change this up a bit starting on the 20th of uh, September, so that will be Friday. You will be able to hop in for the open beta on Xbox and PC. So if you do not have it pre-ordered, Xbox and PC open beta will start on September the 20th at 6 p.m. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit later in the evening. So that's going to be around midnight in Europe or, you know, around midnight will be the time that it drops. So that open beta will start a little bit earlier. I know on PS4 it started around lunchtime on Saturday. So this is going to be, like I said, for the open beta for PC and Xbox will be around uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time Saturday or Friday night, excuse me, or around midnight or to 1 a.m. for anybody overseas or later depending on where you live or what time zone you live in. But they did change, like I said, that up a little bit instead of having to, make, or having to you know, kind of make everyone wait till Saturday to play the open beta on PC and Xbox. They, did, they are going to start that a little bit earlier. Of course, today is the preload for anybody that's going to play in the early access tomorrow. So if you pre-order the game on Xbox or on PC, you can preload that today at 12 Pacific time. It's a little after 8 a.m. for me, so... That's going to be within about four hours, uh, four hour, three and a half hours is when that preload will be available. So you can go ahead and start preloading that. They did not mention anything about a preload for uh, the open beta. They did not do one last week for PS4. They just had to wait until it was available to play and then they could download it. Now, this is a pretty good size download. I think it's a little over 40 gigs for me on PS4. I would just suggest anywhere between 40 and 60 gigs for all platforms would be my guess. So, like I said, everyone's going to get to hop on tomorrow with early access for Xbox, PC, and PS4. PS4 will be open beta tomorrow, and then the open beta for Xbox and PC will start Friday evening. Well, anyway, guys, while I got you here, I'll give you a few tips if you are a newer player, if you are on PS4 or Xbox or PC, and you have not got to play much yet, or if you have not got to play at all yet, this game is a bit different. Um, it, the maps are very, very cluttered. It, it's something that I kind of see as reminds me of maybe more of call of duty ghosts i think the maps are more cluttered than ghosts in my opinion there's a lot of windows a lot of doors a lot of dark areas people can hide in head glitch and just kind of wait on you also also there's a lot of areas or ways to get to the certain parts of the map it's not just three lanes and that's where everybody's going to go there could be people vertically in windows or on roofs uh, there could be people like i said waiting it is kind of in corners uh peeking around doors there's just a lot of clutter within these maps, so just keep that in mind. It's hard. You can run and gun, don't get me wrong, but it's hard to just flat out just dead sprint all the time. And if you are a new player and you have not played yet, make sure you're carrying a tube with you to shoot down all the UAV spam because there's a good bit of spam. It's not as bad as it was when the beta was first released on PS4 and we did not have a mini-map. Now that we have a mini-map that shows people when a UAV is up, it does not show people when the weapons are fired. You can see people when they're firing their weapons on the compass kind of up at the top of the map. That is pretty much something like you would see in a Battle Royale game, you know, where it shows the name of the area that you're in. That is the good thing. So you want to call out to your team. You can just kind of look up that compass and see the name of the area. But it also shows that north, south, east, west, and, of course, the number. So that that's good for call outs. But you also, like I said, can see people on that as well. Like I said, you can see people on the mini-map when there is a UAV up. The UAV spam, like I said, did calm down some, but until you have Ghost, I would definitely recommend using something because there's UAVs, personal UAVs, there's a UAV drones. There's a lot of ways you can get spotted if you don't have Ghost on. 
So just make sure you're running that. Besides that, I would just say enjoy yourself. Uh, learn the maps to begin with. This is going to be a game kind of like Ghost, like I said, where you have to learn the maps a bit more than you have in some other CODs with the, just three lanes. These kind of maps have a lot of nooks, a lot of crannies, a lot of ways to get to areas. So make sure you learn the maps. Play it slow to begin with, and then once you've kind of learned where you're going and what you're doing, you can kind of pick up the pace. It does not really have to be a campy game. A lot of people play slower because the time to kill is faster, I think, and there's a lot of areas you can hide in. But once you get the hang of the maps, I, I really do feel that you can run around and do what you want, you know, like any other COD game. Just make sure you also are checking your attachments for your weapons. Not only now do they give you bonuses, they do give you some things that will hurt your character so or hurt your you know, kind of playability. Some stocks... Uh, you know, may give you faster movement while shooting, but may make the gun idle, have more idle sway. Some grips may, you know, make the gun have less recoil, either vertically or horizontally or side to side. But, or, you know, kind of that side to side sway, I guess. But they also could hurt your aim down sight speed. So you have to kind of get used to all that. Aim down sight is kind of slow. So just some kind of quick tips, you know, for some of you new guys out there are going to be starting playing tomorrow. Anyway, I hope this helps you out, guys. Like I said, if you want to know the info about beta start times and everything, it's linked down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like if you did. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live because sometimes YouTube is kind of weird and doesn't let, let people know when something has been uploaded. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.